Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are converting this Figma design into a real website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in my previous video, I showed you how to design this hero section. So if you go to our browser, this is how it looks right now. We can see that we have designed the hero section. Now in this video, we will see how to design this testimonial section. So if you go back to our Figma file, this is how we want our testimonial section to look. So let's get started. Right here's our code. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a comment. So I'll just type testimonial section. And let's go back to our Figma file. And uh, the first thing we will do is we will see what is the gap between the testimonial section and this hero section. So if I click over here, and if I press Alt or Option, you can see that we have a gap of 100 pixels. And if we scroll down and take a look at this gap over here, we can see that even for this, we have a gap of 100 pixels. Let's scroll down and take a look at the gap of this. And we can see that we have a gap of 100 pixels for every section over here. So let's go back to our CSS and we will add a margin top of 100 pixels for all the sections. So if you go back to our HTML file, we can see that for each of the sections, we have this uh, section over here. So here we can see we have this section. And even for the courses, we have this section. So let's go ahead and uh, let's type section. And here I'll just type margin top and I'll just set it to 100 pixels. All right now let's go back to our Figma file. And the next thing we will style is this heading. So if I double click over here and uh, let's go over here to inspect. And if you scroll down, we can see that the CSS of the heading is displayed over here. So let's go ahead and copy all of this. And let's go back to our code. And if you go back to the index.html file, here we can see for all the headings we have an h2. So here we can see for the testimonial section we have this h2 over here for the heading. And if you scroll down we can see that we have the h2 for the courses section as well. And if you scroll down we also have the h2 for the get our app section. So we can go ahead and add the same styling to all the headings. So let's select all the h2 in general. So let's go back to style.css file. And here I'll just type h2. And I'll just paste all the CSS over here. And let's delete this comment and also font style and I'll just add sans serif over here. And I'll also change the color to the variable. So I'll just type var dark blue color. And we'll also remove all the default margin. So I'll just type margin zero. All right, now let's go to our browser and let's scroll down. And uh, here we can see we have the heading and the styles are applied over here. Now for this heading, we have a color of white. So if we go back to our Figma file, here we can see for this heading we have a white color. And for that, if you go back to our HTML file, we have added a class called light. So if I just scroll down over here, here we can see we also have a class called light for the h2. So let's go back to our style.css file and here we will type h2.light and we'll set the color to white. Now if you go back to our browser, we can see that for this heading, we have a white color. All right, now let's style this paragraph. So let's go back to our Figma file and let's double click over here. And here, if you go to the inspect tab, we can see the CSS over here. So I just copy all of the CSS and let's go back. And here I'll just type section P. So this will select all the paragraphs inside all the sections. So I'll just paste the CSS over here and let's change the color to our variable. So I'll just type var dark blue color and I'll just remove this comment and this font style. And we'll also add sans serif over here. And let's go back to our browser and we'll also add some margin. So let's go ahead and type margin of uh, let's add a margin of 12 pixels top and bottom and zero for left and right. All right, now let's add some specific styles for this testimonial section. So let's go back and uh, if you go to the Figma file, we can see that we have these sections one next to the other. So this is the left part and this is the right part. So if you go back to our HTML, here we can see we have two divisions over here. We have a division with the class of left and uh, here we have a division with the class of right. Now we have to position these divisions one next to the other. So for that you have to select the parent division. So if you scroll up, here we can see we have a section with the class of testimonial section. So let's select this. Let's go back to our CSS. And here I'll just type testimonials section. 
and we'll set the display to flex so that both the divisions will be one next to the other so if we go back to our browser here we can see we have this uh, left section over here on the left and then we have this right section but here we can see we have this button over here on the right so let's go back to our HTML and uh, here we can see we have this left section and then we have this right section and then we have this button over here so what we will do is uh, we'll copy this button inside the right section now we need to have a button over here for the mobile version but for the desktop version we need to have a button inside the right division so here I will just add a class of mobile button and let's copy this line of code and let's go inside the right division and here after the paragraphs I'll just add the button and for this button we will have a class of desktop button right now let's go to a style CSS file and we need to hide this mobile button so here I'll just type testimonials section mobile button and I'll just set the display to none and now if you go back to our browser we can see that everything looks all right we have the button in the correct position now the next thing we will do is we will add a gap between the left and the right divisions so let's go back to our CSS and here I just type gap and we'll add a gap of 100 pixels and we also want all the elements to be aligned to the center vertically so if you go back to our Figma file here we can see both the content are aligned to the center vertically so let's go back to our CSS and here let's type align items center and now we can see everything is centered correctly all right now let's style this testimonial card so let's go back to our Figma file and uh, let's double click over here and let's go to inspect and let's scroll down and here we can see the styles for the testimonial card so we need to have a border radius of 24 pixels and we need to have this box shadow and background color and we also need to have this width so let's copy all of this and let's go back to our CSS and let's see what is the class for the testimonial card so here we can see we have a division with the class of testimonial card so let's target that here let's type testimonials section testimonial card and I just paste all the CSS over here and we need to remove this height left and top from here all right now let's go back to our browser and here we can see all the styles are added we'll also add some gap between these two testimonial cards so let's go back to our figma file and uh, if we hover over this we can see we have a gap of 50 pixels so here I'll just type margin bottom and I'll just set it to 50 pixels all right now the next thing we will do is we will style this content inside the testimonial so let's go back to our figma file and I'll just double click over here and here we can see the styles for this text so I'll just copy all of this and let's go back to our uh, code and if you go to our index.html file here we can see we have a division with the class of content so let's target this uh, division so I'll just go back to CSS and here I'll just type testimonial section and in that we have the testimonial card and in that we have the content so here I'll just paste the CSS and let's remove this comment and also this font style and we'll also add sans serif over here all right now let's go back to our figma file and here we can see we have a padding of 24 pixels for top and bottom and 32 pixels for left and right and if I click on this rectangle and uh, here we can see we have a border radius of 24 pixels and we have a light blue color so let's go back and let's add those styles so let's type border radius 24 pixels and we also had a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and we'll also set the background color to the light blue color variable that we have so if you scroll up we can see that we have created this variable called light blue color so let's add this so here let's type var light blue color or right, let's go back to our browser and we can see that the content is being styled correctly now for the second content we need to have an orange color so if you go back to our figma file here we can see for the second content we have the orange background color so let's go back to our CSS and here I'll just type testimonial section and testimonial card and we need to select the last instance of the testimonial card so here I'll just type colon last child and then here I'll just type content so what we are doing over here is that we are selecting the last testimonial card and we are adding the styles to the content inside that so here I'll just type background and I'll just set the color to var 
and orange color and let's go back to our browser and now we can see we have this orange background color for the second testimonial content all right now let's style this heading so let's go back and uh, let's go to our html and here we can see for the heading we have this h4 and it is inside this info division so let's target that so here let's type testimonials section testimonial card info h4 and let's go back to our figma file and let's copy the styles so let's double click over here and here we have the css of the h4 so let's copy all of this and let's go back to our code and i'll just paste it over here and i'll just change this color to our variable so i'll just type var dark blue color and we'll just remove this comment and also the font style and we'll also add sans serif over here let's go back to our browser and we'll also remove the margin so i'll just type margin 0 and we also need to have a padding for this info division so let's go back and let's target the info division so i'll just type testimonials card or testimonials section testimonials card and dot info and we will add a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right right now if you go back to our browser we can see that we have the padding applied we'll also add the styles to this paragraph so if you go back to our html we can see inside the info division we have a paragraph with the class of company so let's target that over here so i'll just type testimonial section testimonial card info and uh, i'll just type p.company and let's go back to our figma file and let's copy the styling so i'll just double click over here and uh, let's copy the styles so let's copy all of this from here and let's go back to our css and paste it over here and we'll just remove all the unnecessary code and i'll just add the variable over here dark blue color and also delete this line of code and also add sans serif over here all right now let's go back to our browser and we can see that the styling is applied now the next thing we will do is style this image so let's go back to our html file and here we can see we have this image inside the testimonial card division so let's target that here let's type testimonial section testimonial card and here let's type img and let's go back to our figma file and let's double click over here and here we can see the css of the image so i'll just copy this height and width and let's go back and paste it over here now we'll position this image relative to this testimonial card division so let's go over here to the top and for the testimonial card i will just type position relative now let's go over here to the image and let's type position absolute now this image will be positioned relative to this testimonial card so let's add some position values over here so i'll just type right and i'll just set the right position to 32 pixels and we'll set the bottom position to 20 pixels let's see how it looks let's go back to our browser and we can see that the image looks all right we don't have any problems now the next thing we have to do is we have to move the second testimonial card to the right a little bit so if we go back to our figma file here we can see the second testimonial card is moved to the right so let's do that let's go back to our css and let's select the second testimonial card so i'll just type testimonial section testimonial card and here i'll just type colon last child so this will select the second testimonial card and here we'll just type transform translate x and i'll just set it to 20 pixels and now we can see the second testimonial card is moved to the right all right now the next thing we will do is we will add some gap between this button and this paragraph so let's go over here to the html and i'll just add a division for both these paragraphs so here i'll just create a division with a class of features and uh, we'll add these paragraphs inside the features All right now let's add some margin to these features so here i'll just type testimonial section features and here i'll just type margin bottom and i'll just set it to 30 pixels all right now the last thing we need to do is add this background rectangle over here so we have this rectangle behind both these testimonial cards now for that we're going to use a before selector so let's go back and uh, let's select the testimonial card so here just before this css i'll just type testimonial section testimonial card 
colon colon before and before selectors are basically used to add extra information to the elements of your website so if I just type content and here if I just type hello now we can see that hello is displayed over here before all these testimonial cards so let's remove hello from here and uh, I'll just keep it blank and let's add the background rectangle over here so let's go back to our Figma file and let's select this rectangle and let's see what is the width. So here we can see we have a width of 28 pixels. So let's go back and here let's type width 28 pixels and we will set the position to absolute and we'll set a height of uh, let's try 40 pixels and let's set the top position to negative 40 pixels so that it is at the top and uh, we'll set the left position to let's try 60 pixels and we also need to have the background color set to the dark color so I'll just type var dark blue color and we'll also need to add a border radius so I'll just type border radius and uh, we need to add border radius for top right and top left so I'll just type 24 pixels 24 pixels for top left and top right so here we can see we have this border radius of 24 pixels and for bottom left and bottom right I'll just type 0 0 Right now let's go back to our browser and now we can see we have this uh, background rectangle over here at the top and now for the second testimonial card we will add a different styling for the before selector so let's go back and uh, here I'll just type testimonial section testimonial card colon last child for selecting the second testimonial card and here I'll just type colon colon before now since we have moved this uh, second testimonial card 20 pixels to the right so if you go back over here here we can see we have moved it 20 pixels to the right so we have to set the left position of this before selector to 20 pixels to the left so here I'll just type left and here we have set a value of 60 pixels so here we have to type 40 pixels and uh, we'll set the top position to negative 50 pixels and now we can see both these rectangles are in the same line now we don't want to have this uh, border radius at the top so here I'll just type border radius and I'll just type 0 0 for top left and top right and we want the border radius at the bottom so here we can see at the bottom we have this border radius so let's add 24 pixels of border radius to the bottom left and bottom right All right now let's go back to our browser and here we can see we have this rectangle now we need to set the height of this uh, before selector so let's go back and uh, let's set a height of calc we will use a calc function and we'll set the height to 100% of the element plus 90 pixels and let's see how it looks and now we can see we have the correct height for this uh, element but it is above all the other elements so we have to set a z index of negative 1 for this so I'll just type z index and I'll just type negative 1 and now we can see it looks like it is above the info section so let's go back to the info section over here let's scroll down and here we will add a background color so I'll just tap background and I'll just set it to white now the last issue we need to fix is the border radius over here so we need to set the border radius of the info to 24 pixels so let's go back and here in the info I'll just tap border radius and I'll just set it to 24 pixels and now we can see everything looks alright so that's basically it with the testimonial section of our website alright so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day